Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness for the Nintendo DS Part 13. Yeah, sorry for the abrupt cutoff at the end of Part 12. I wanted to save Chapter 11 for this part, because that was already over 40 minutes. Anyways, let's continue the story. Chapter 11, Groyville the Thief. Uh, 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 come on, hurry! What's the commotion? Everyone's here! Yup, yup! Sorry, everyone! We just got told that the call went out, so we came running! What's going on? Another time gear was stolen! What? Not another one! From where now? Where was this time gear stolen from? Well, wow, it... Uh, what's the problem? Did it happen somewhere you don't want to talk about? It wasn't the one from... Yes, it was. This time, the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Huh? But, but, how? The time gear that was at Fogbound Lake! Only we knew about that, right? So how could this happen? It couldn't be. And a member of the guild talk, could it? What? That was uncalled for! Hey, 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 don't trust your fellow members. Er, sorry, that was uncalled for, you're right. No one would break our vow of secrecy. It just never happened. I should have thought before I spoke. I'm sorry. Well, it's no wonder that you leaped to that conclusion. I mean, this horrible thing that, hap that did happen right after our expedition. Just one moment. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. There was a time gear at Fogbound Lake. I did not know that. Did I not hear quite a different tale about your recent expedition? I recall being told that your expedition to Fogbound Lake ended in failure. I apologize, Great Dustnor. We made a promise, so we couldn't tell even you. Anyway! A lone intruder slipped into Fogbound Lake, knocked out Ooxie, and made off with the time gear. Ooxie? Is Ooxie alright? Yes, Ooxie is fine. He's under the protection of Magnazone Squad. No need to worry. Phew, I'm glad to hear that. Wait, there's more. According to Uxie's victim statement, the intruder's identity has been revealed. Then fess up, what kind of critter are we dealing with? There's already a wanted poster up for the thief. See for yourselves. This Pokemon goes by the name of Grivo? Oop, that's one nasty piece of work. Grivo. So this is the Pokemon. The thief who's stealing the time gears. This wanted poster just arrived! It was issued based on Uxie's statement, and arrived as part of an all points bulletin. Oh, that figures. That's why all those Pelipper were flying around. Officer Magnazone obviously doesn't want to see things worsen. They put a remarkably high bounty on the thieving Groyville. We promised Uxie, we promised not to reveal the secret of Fogbound Lake. But then this happens. We didn't leak the secret, but... I'm ashamed to show my face in front of Uxie now. Hey, hey, here's what sticks in my craw. The view is there has been ruined. And hey, hey, I just can't forgive that. Hey, Guildmaster? G -g -g Guildmaster? Oh god. Yomta! What? <laughs> oh, good. Everyone! We'll catch Groyville! We'll catch that thief! I vow it upon the name of Wigglytuff's Guild! Chat out if you will! Yeah, yes! Okay, everyone! From here on out, we are putting our full focus on capturing Groyville! Do your best to bring Groyville to justice! It goes without saying! Hey, hey, hey! There's no way we can let any more Time Gears be stolen! Come on, everyone! Let's pull together! Let's do it for Uxie! Wigglytuff. I believe I understand the situation now. I will join in your guild's pursuit of Groyville. To thank you, Great Dustnor! Golly, having the Great Dustnor in our corner is mighty heartening! Hey, hey, we're honored. No, no, it's my honor entirely. At present, the Guildmaster and I shall confer! We will devise a strategy for fighting Groyville! In the meantime, you should all start preparing to go on searches! Return here when you are ready to leave! Okay, everyone! Let's outdo ourselves! 
Yay! Alrighty, that went well, I guess. Let's hurry and get ready, TK! Let's start preparing with a visit to Treasure Town! Yeah, I do apologize if my voice seems a little raspy. I did Mugen Battles the other day, and I had to do it over and over and over again a lot because I screwed up, so... That's why my voice seems a bit out of it right now. Hopefully it'll get a little better with time. Anyways, let's do some shopping. Oh, what do we do? Reviver Seeds, I don't have enough right now, but I will do some selling. Any weak items I want to get rid of? Glitter Box, sure, let's get rid of that. 200, you betcha. Let's see, what else can I get rid of? Uh, Pekka Berry, get rid of that. I mean, you go down staircases, you lose your poison, so what's the point of having that? Uh, full Fear Orb, can't use them for boss battles, because there's a mystical force that prevents you from doing so. Blarg. Uh, let me see. Ooh, I got a lot of power bands. I think I can afford to sell a couple. I just want to keep one on hand for uh, Anna Rift. So I'll sell another one. Now I can actually purchase a uh, Reviver Seed if I want another one. It's on the scope. Uh, let me see, what's this? Uh, hold on, prevent sleep condition. Okay. Yeah, I might want to save that. I could probably find some use for it. If I ever get a fourth teammate, I might give it to him. Uh, let me see, what else do I want to get rid of? Yeah, I'm going to keep some Orin Berries on hand. They've proven to be useful. Uh, sleep Seed, I want to hang on to. Heal Seed, I'm going to get rid of. And Gravel Rocks, I'm going to sell too. Don't really need anything with them. Okay, let's go check out the other Quekion, see if he's got good TMs. What do you have? Captivate and Sleep Talk? Uh, not interested in either of them. So you know what? Let's buy a Reviver Seed. More of those, the better. Yes, I want the Reviver Seed. Give me it now. More life insurance. Okay. I'm going to go st store the rest of my cash with uh, Deuce Skull Bank real fast. I'm going to deposit all 400 Poke Dollars. Alrighty, I think I'm ready for this mission. Uh, let's, oh yeah, let me take Electrike off the uh, team, or can I right now? Let me see. Can I tell him to disband or no? Nope, I can't. Alright, let's head back to the headquarters then. Now, I see everyone's with us! First and foremost... This should go without saying. Glorival appears wherever Time Gears are located. But where are the Time Gears? That is the question, but we have no answer. And therefore, we have re relied upon the Great Dust Lord for ideas. Together, we've identified several locations where the Time Gears may be found. We ask that everyone split into groups and investigate each of these potential sites. First, Loudred and Corfish, I'm assigning you to the Eastern Forest. That's the huge forest far to the east, of course. Got it. Hey, hey, we'll do our best. Next, Beedoof, Doug Trio, and Sunflora. We'd like you to search Crystal Cave. Yup, yup, will do. Understood. Oh my gosh, I'll search hard. And finally, TK and Cyndaquil. You two are assigned to the Northern Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct. Open your Wonder Map. Okay. Cyndaquil opened the Wonder Map. See? This area. The area on the map is obscured by clouds, but the dry terrain starts in this area here. That's why it's rumored that a vast desert extends from that point onward. We suspect that a time gear is hidden in the depths of the desert. That is where we're sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Um, what about me? Diglett will remain at the guild. We can't very well leave the guild completely unattended. Krogunk and I are staying behind at the guild too. The work we do at the guild is important, too. Let's make sure we keep up our good work. Y yes Now, let's find the Time Gears, everyone! Utah! Hooray! <laughs> oh, Wigglytuff, you're funny. The Northern Desert is not only wide and deep, it is raked by vicious sandstorms. Please, do take care. Will do! Thank you! TK, let's do our best! You betcha. Alright, now let's go to Chimico because I want to... Yeah, I want to take Electric off the team. He's not going to be my permanent fourth member. I think Anorith has got a spot on my team permanently. So I'll put Electric on standby for now. 
Let me see what other Pokemon I got. Nidorina, do I want to use her? Hmm. Nah, I think Anorith is going to do for now. We'll keep Anorith with us. And... Yeah, let's go do the Northern Desert mission right now. Off we go into the wild unknown. Where would you like to go? Northern Desert, let's go. I'm happy I get to take Anorith along with me for this one. The Northern Desert is through here! If a Time Gear really is here, Blavel should show up here for sure! Let's do our best and find that Time Gear! Alright, finally a break from voice acting. Northern Desert, here we go. And we got Anorith with us again. And, you know what, I'm gonna keep... I don't want him spamming Vacuum Cut right now. I want to save there for when the uh, room is filled with enemies. Otherwise, it's just wasting it. Okay, let's see. Let's go for a uh, Ice Fang. Ice is super effective on ground. Yay! Sanju! Yeah, you know what? Hmm, do I want to take him? Why not? No. Sure, we'll bring Sanju along. He's probably not going to be a permanent team member either, but... It'll be good to have a fourth Pokemon support. Ice Fang. Take that. Haha, you missed your poison sting. And I bite you! Okay, where do we go? Oh! Oh, Poopy Gins, I forgot to throw the items on. Let me go do that. Joy Ribbon! Give that to Cyndaquil. And Silver Bow for myself. And... A... Power Band for Anorith. I guess we'll give Sandshrew something. Shoo! Shrew! We'll give him Insomniscope, I guess. There we go. Everybody's got a hold item now. Although I don't know how many Pokemon will attempt to put Sandshrew to sleep, but... Ah, Trap Pinch! Um, Water Pulse. Oh yeah, 128 damage. Loving it. Oh wow, a Larvitar! Larvitar! Water Pulse! Yep, exploited its part rock weakness, hee hee hee. Funnily enough, uh, Lavatar starts off as a rock round. It slowly becomes a rock dark. Ooh, Cubone! Cubone! Too bad I didn't run into that sooner. Ice Fang! Haha. Woo! Yes, I will recruit him! Uh, do you want to nickname the new member? Uh, no, we're good for now. Your team for this dungeon's already full, so Cubone must be sent to the guild. Fine by me! Oh, good to know I can still recruit even though my party's full. Anyways, third floor. Ooh, we got an Aeron, huh? Alright, I'll take on the Aeron. Let's use a Brick Break, Quad Weakness to Fighting. Eek. Boy, Anorus taking off beat down. Um, Brick Break again. Take that. And we've recruited Aeron too, why not? Sure. Oh, no, I don't want to change his name. I just want to recruit him, dang it. Yes, name Aeron's fine. Okay. Woohoo! And Arith managed to take him out. And Cyndaquil grew to level 20. Yay! Excellent! I leveled up! Oh yeah! Alright, we better protect Anorith for a while. He's taking a beat down. And the good news is if there's a sandstorm, Anorith won't be affected by it, seeing as he's part rock. So that's convenient. Love the northern desert music. Oh yeah, grimy food. Uh, I think that actually helps to fill your belly, but it gives you a side effect at the cost of that. I recommend avoiding it. Although I think some of those purple rocks could also be moonstones, so I probably should have picked it up anyway, but oh well. Let me see, a uh, water pulse not going to work here. Um, yeah, I don't think Anorith has a super effective move to use on that either, so water pulse. And I confused it, that's good. Uh, Ice Fang for super effective. Bam! Take that. Yeah, Ice moves are gonna be good for those grass types that resist my water. Fifth floor, here we come. Sanju! Again. Okay, Sanju, Water Pulse. Yeah, 92 damage. And Earth grew to level 15, yay. 
feeling extreme! Leveled up. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like Adoress HP is going up too much right now. Oh, let me see. Well, we got the staircase in the same room. Let's go. Ah, Sandstorm is activated. Well, the only Pokemon that won't take damage is Anorith and Sandshrew. So me and Cyndaquil are going to be taking the bulk of the beating here. But thankfully, we are regaining that lost health, so Sandstorm is essentially doing nothing. And every time we take Sandstorm damage, we're getting experience points, too. Thanks to the uh, Joy Ribbon of Cyndaquil. Okay, uh... Ice Fang for the, uh, what was that again? Uh, the ball toy. Ow. Stupid rock tomb. Oh, come on! Oh, yeah, I friggin' missed two Ice Fangs. Fine, Water Pulse, go. Don't miss. Thank you. Flame Wheel. Alright, took out the Sodden Shrew. Ah, moving slow. There we go, speed's back to normal. Okay, stop beating me up, Sandstorm. Ooh, we got two items in here. What we got? Ah, money. Always a good thing. Okay, let's go this way. We got a Larvitar coming. Oh, boy. Uh, quick break. Aha. Ooh, item at the top of the room. Let's get it. Yes, more money. More catchy music. Yeah, you know if I'm humming, this game did something right. Uh, grimy food, I'm guessing? Yes, it's grimy food. Yeah, I'll save it in case I need to fill my belly. Just make sure I'm near a staircase while I use it so I can lose the uh, status affliction that whatever happens to me. Quad weakness, bam! Oh yeah. Brick Break is going to cripple Aaron. Stab or no stab. And ninth floor, let's see what we got. Alright, enemy Pokemon, let's see what it is. Oh god, Water Pulse ain't gonna do much to it. But, you know what, it's some damage, and it'll ensure Ice Fang KOs it on the next hit. And sorry if you hear the phone ringing in the background. Can't help that. Uh, let's see. Ah, staircase. And we got an incoming sun through. Water pulse to the face. Dead. Oh god, it's another sun through. Yeah, I just gotta go down the staircase. And another sandstorm. Great. And we got a carnivine coming. Oh boy. Yeah, I might be well using water pulse here. And got some confused. Now Ice Fang! Bam! Put him on ice. Yeah, I love Totodile's coverage now. Man. Dark fighting ice and water for stab. Love it. Alright, Carnivine took some damage from the uh, Sandstorm. And Ice Fang to finish it off. Take that. Ow. Stop it, Sandstorm. Ooh, I see some silver spikes or iron thorns or whatever they are. Iron thorn, there you go. And staircases in here, goody. And 11th floor already. Oh, we got a Rhyhorn. Clawed weakness to Water Pulse. Boom. There it goes. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think, uh, Sandstorm raises the special defense of, uh, rock types by 30%. I could be wrong. Uh, let me see. I think that takes effect in this generation. I could be wrong. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, Sandshrew has Swift. That's good to know. Ow. Oh. Well, good thing I brought some Reviver Seeds. They came in handy here. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, stupid... He's got that stupid sand veil, I forgot. So all, most of my moves are gonna miss it. Fine, you're gonna play that way. 
Oh. Uh, oh god. What am I gonna do here? I don't wanna. Tr I don't wanna lose a whole lot of. Oh, iron thorns. That won't miss. There we go. Took out pain in the ass then through. Where you had to waste two friggin'. Ugh. There. We're level 21. Yay. I want to go up here and. Oh, good, it missed. Let me KO this bastard before he takes him out again. Ugh. Had to waste two reviver seeds there. That wasn't good. Alright, let me eat those now defunct reviver seeds. Which have become plain seeds now. Eat them to fill my belly. Ugh, I gotta protect Anorith. I gotta make sure he attacks from a distance with vacuum cut, because he really doesn't have a lot of HP. And he can't take hits very well either. Oh god. Uh, let me see. Going to Ice Fang you. Take that. Yay, Sentru grew to 21. And learned a new move, which is... Roll out. Roll out. Oh yeah. Roll out. Love that song. <laughs> uh, we'll get rid of Fury Swipes. Sentru learned roll out. Good timing, I leveled up. Yeah, that was a weird voice, I know. I was trying something different. Get over here, Karn. Oh boy, Carnivine's powering up the special. Not gonna let that happen. Ice Fang. Oh crap. Oh no, you don't. Ingrain's not gonna save you from my wrath. Fight. Ooh, Carnivine wants to join the team. Sure. Hey, if I'm recruiting a bunch of Pokemon, I'm jumping on it. Haven't recruited this many Pokemon in a while. Yeah, send Carnivine back to the guild. And the good thing about this game is there's no friend locations, I believe, so you can recruit any Pokemon. You just have to get lucky and hope you get the last hit. Okay. Oh boy, we got a Lyron. Uh, Brick Break that. Ha! I exploit your quad weakness. A Luminous Orb, I'm actually going to use that. I want to free up space in my bag. Luminous Orb! Okay, I can see where the staircase is now. Only one enemy Pokemon or two on the floor now. Uh, we're going to dodge them completely. 13th floor. Ding. You know what, instead of the power band, I think I'm going to give... Uh, Find me food. Yeah, I better. I don't have enough iron thorns, so I better just save them up for now. All right, let me get rid of this cacturn with ice fang and water gun. Good job, Anorith. Anorith grew to level 16. Feeling extreme. Leveled up. All right, Anorith, you can stop acting like an ECW wrestler. God. Yeah, I know I've overused the ECW thing, but you know what? I don't care. It's fun to do. Oh god, Carnivine again. I'm gonna save the- I'm gonna eat a grimy food when I get near the staircase. Oh boy, enemy Sandru! Ice Fang! Bam! And Flame Wheel! Smoked! Okay, any staircase here? No, more Iron Thorns, that's good. Start stacking those up some. Uh, where do we go from here? Down. Oh, got another Lyron. And Brick Break for his face. Take that. And Cyndaquil grew to level 21. Oh, yeah. I leveled up. I'll do better now. Alright, we got a Carnivine trying to attack Cyndaquil from behind. Oh, Carnivine, you're messing with the wrong Pokemon, buddy. Flame Wheel Toast, goodbye. Carnivine ain't gonna stand a chance against a fire attack. And we got a wooden stake. And we go up to the 15th floor. Oh, I got another Sandru! I love doing that. I guess it's a good thing Adareth has Water Gun. So now I can hit Rock and Ground types super effectively. 
Even though Anorith isn't a special attacker. Still, Water Gun will serve him well for a little while. Alright, Brick Break this thing again. Wabam! 127, oh yeah. Uh oh, belly. Grimy food! Yummy! Ah, I got poisoned! No! That was the worst status affliction I could get. Ice Fang. And we froze it! And, um... Uh, can I throw a stick at it? Okay. Apparently while it's frozen we can't hit it. That kind of sucks. Ah! Good to know Fire can still hit it while it's iced up like that. Uh, where's the staircase? Oh crap, not over here. I probably should have kept that Pekka Berry, but oh well. Yeah, the problem with poison is you don't restore health while you move around. Oh, come on. Oh good. Oh, thank god that Rock Blast missed. Come on! Oh yeah, yeah, freaking Brick Break should not be missing like this. Oh god, I ran out of- man, I gotta take a Max Elixir in a minute. I'm running out of moves. Alright, where's the Max Elixir? I need one. Let's eat another grimy food. Ah! I'm burned and poisoned! No! <laughs> oh god. That's just terrible. Uh... Where's the Max Elixir? I need one. There we go. Ingest to myself. Oh, I gotta find that staircase. I'm in bad shape right now. Oh, staircase. Oh god, Carnivine just intercepted Sandshrew and... Oh boy. Crap. Woohoo! Alright, they managed, barely managed to take him out. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Watch out! It's quicksand! The sand's getting sucked down here and there! They're like sand and whirlpools and we'll be pulled in if we get close! It's dangerous here! I don't see anything around here that remotely looks like a time gear! Maybe there's nothing here. Oh? What's the matter, TK? This feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I... I know this place. Maybe I've only heard of this place, but it seems like I've been here before. I can't tell which. Either way, I do know this place. Listen, TK! What's the matter? You were off in your own thoughts there. Well, there seems to be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's report our findings to the guild. Let's go home. Why are you pushing me, Cyndaquil? I have legs. The clouds parted over the northern desert. Yay. What? So everyone's back from their searches? But nobody found anything? Disappointing. That's what happened, though, right? Hey, hey, we went out to the eastern forest, just like we were told. But hey, there's nothing really there but the forest. And as for Crystal Cave, yup, yup, it was chock full of crystals. Mighty pretty cave, I tell you. It was so pretty that I just couldn't help helping myself to a crystal. Ooh, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time, I never noticed. Be doof. Our objective was to find a time gear. We all failed to achieve our objective. But you had the nerve to collect a souvenir totally unrelated to the mission? Who do you think you are? Oof, gosh, I'm sorry. I just wanted a tiny treasure for myself, that's all. Thus nor, sir, I regret to say it! Our search efforts ended fruitlessly! Ah, this is vexing. I thought the search locations we chose held promise. I blame my lack of knowledge. I am truly chastened. My goodness, no! You mustn't blame yourself! Why, it was thanks only to your best knowledge that we came up with our plan, Dustnor! Nonetheless, our efforts have ended in failure. That's a fact. But being hard on ourselves is pointless. Let us reconsider our plan. We'll devise a different strategy tomorrow. Yes, let's do that! And may we find success together! That's how it stands, everyone! That's enough work for today! Rest up! Prepare for tomorrow! Understood! Crunch Munch Choo Choo! Yeah, we're eating. Yum. Alrighty, we're approaching the 30 minute mark. I don't know if we should get a little more done. We probably will. We should get some sleep too! 
Let's make tomorrow another good day, TK! Okay, good night! The next morning. Open at him! It's morning! <laughs> oh, good morning, TK! Would you like to save your adventure? You betcha! Hey, you know what? We're at 30 minutes. I think I'm gonna stop it here for fear that I might run into a long storyline that drags out for a storyline cutscene that'll drag out for like another 10 minutes. Lord knows we got blasted enough by those. Anyways, folks, stay tuned for Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness for the Nintendo DS Part 14, when we'll find out what Shotot has up his sleeve for us next. Anyways, later, peoples!